MSG Sphere, newest attraction in Las Vegas. In a city rich with impressive landmarks, one attraction is destined to raise the entertainment standards out of technology and creativity. Madison Square Garden, also known as the MSG Sphere, will debut in 2023 and will definitely become one of the city's most popular attractions. The arena will host a range of events and activities, further solidifying Las Vegas' reputation as the entertainment capital of the world. So, sit back and relax as we explore everything about the newest attraction in Las Vegas called MSG Sphere. Let's get into it. Let's start off with a bit of background about it. What is the Las Vegas MSG Sphere? The arena, officially known as the MSG Sphere at the Venetian, is a sphere-shaped stadium currently under construction east of the Venetian. It's just off the famous Las Vegas Strip, yet it's within walking distance of the city's most popular gambling sites. Populous, a worldwide architecture and design firm, created the venue. It is one of the world's major architecture firms, specializing in arenas, convention halls, and sports facilities. Apart from this massive stadium, Madison Square Garden Entertainment Incorporated intends to build a similar sphere in London's Stratford District. Although this stadium is not yet done, it promises to be just as stunning. It is a one-of-a-kind entertainment arena that can hold up to 20,000 people and has 23 VIP suites and will be utilized for immersive, custom-made attractions, live concerts, sports, gaming, and corporate events. Now, let's talk about the exterior of the sphere. When finished, the MSG Sphere will be the world's biggest spherical construction, 336 feet tall and 516 feet wide. The complex top of the sphere alone required approximately 3,000 tons of steel. This and the arena's spherical form allow the dome to hold about 42 million pounds of weight. The sphere's exterior will be covered with approximately 580,000 square feet of programmable lights. These outside LED lights will be an attraction in and of itself, transforming the sphere into a brilliant beacon of the city. The exosphere of the arena, composed of LED lights, will be visible in the distance. Aside from that, a 1,000-foot pedestrian bridge connecting the sphere to the Venetian Expo will be created to guarantee greater access to the remainder of the Las Vegas Strip. The local officials stated that a monorail station would be built between the sphere and the Venetian. While these plans are presently on hold, it is essential to note that they are making the sphere accessible to other parts of the city. The sphere will also include more than 300 parking spots, making it more convenient for all of us. But let's not forget the sphere's interior. The inside of the sphere is a large-scale concert and entertainment complex with a substantial 17,500-person auditorium. Another intriguing aspect of the sphere is that every 17,500 seats will have high-speed internet connectivity. As a result, the audience may utilize multiple applications for a more participatory experience or use real-time social media to share their experience with those unable to attend. And for standing room-only events, the sphere can accommodate up to 20,000 people, that's why the sphere has nine floors in total. Because of its massive size, the inside screen will surely give an experience unlike any other. It will, in fact, cover an area greater than three football fields. When completed, it will wrap around the arena's interior and be the world's largest and highest resolution LED screen. The resolution of the screen will be 19,000 by 13,500 pixels. But to understand how big we are dealing with right now, here's the massive scale of the sphere's construction. The massive size of the arena required the utilization of the Demag CC-8800 crane during the sphere's construction. This is the world's fourth largest crane, with its arm spanning 512 feet long. After arriving in California, this monstrous device was hauled from Belgium across the Atlantic Ocean to Las Vegas using 120 tractor trailers. Moreover, the crane's construction took 17 days. Take note that the crane had to be relocated from one portion of the land to another during the construction process. Because of its massive size, completing this took the employees two days. Preparing the land for this circular amphitheater was a monumental task in and of itself. 400 construction employees were involved in the excavation project. 110,000 cubic yards of earth were extracted, with excavation reaching depths of 21 feet. Given this, the planned 2023 deadline is outstanding, especially given that construction was paused during the worst months of the epidemic and the project's supply chain interruption. With the massive size of the sphere, you may wonder, how much did the MSG sphere cost? The MSG sphere in Las Vegas was once estimated to cost around $1.2 billion. This is an astounding sum for a single entertainment facility, 
demonstrating how serious the city takes this megaproject. Nevertheless, the onset of the pandemic in 2020 and quickly rising material costs increased the project's estimated price by more than 50%. With that, the most current estimates put the figure around $1.8 billion. Madison Square Garden Entertainment Inc. estimated losses of several hundred million dollars in 2020 and 2021 because of the pandemic. But now that everything is back on track, the business doesn't anticipate any significant financial adjustments. So, what will the Las Vegas Sphere include? Once it opens, the Sphere is projected to employ around 4,400 people. This is an astounding but realistic figure, given all the Sphere will offer. With that in mind, let's go through everything included in this arena. For instance, because it is primarily an arena, it is unlikely to include any iconic characteristics seen in surrounding Vegas complexes. In other words, the Sphere will not feature many restaurants, shops, and other activities since they are incompatible with the venue's core function. However, it will surprisingly provide accommodation, but only for the wealthy. The reason is that the Sphere's third and fifth floors will house 23 luxurious suites available for rent. Entertainment-wise, there will be a VIP club in the basement. Many kinds of shows will be performed at the venue. Concerts and award shows will make up the bulk of them. However, the business has also hinted that it may be utilized for several sporting events. The Sphere can hold anywhere from 17,500 to 20,000 people, making it ideal for significant esports competitions. Mixed martial arts and boxing contests might also be held there, with the latter having a history of successful large-scale events in Las Vegas. Before we continue with the list, please subscribe and hit the like button, it really helps us to bring you more content, and please don't forget to turn on the notification icon so you won't miss out on any of our other videos. A major attraction of the new F1 track. Younger F1 fans may not recall that Las Vegas formerly had a circuit part of the official Formula One World Championship. From 1981 through 1984, the Caesars Palace Grand Prix entertained F1 drivers briefly. The circuit was suddenly withdrawn from the F1 schedule following the 1984 event. Yet, it will return to Sin City in November 2023, following an almost four-decade hiatus. But what does this have to do with the MSG Sphere? The Sphere will play an essential role in the circuit. In addition to driving through major Las Vegas sites such as Bellagio, Caesars Palace, and the Mirage, F1 drivers will drive around three of the four streets surrounding the Sphere. Executives of MSG admitted that this was just a happy coincidence, as no one knew that Formula One would return to Las Vegas in 2018 when the Sphere was announced. Despite this, executives have indicated that they will collaborate with F1 to have thousands of seats installed on the site surrounding the Sphere. This is sure to deliver a one-of-a-kind experience to all racing fans. Aside from that, the newest attraction will provide a unique audio-visual experience. The Sphere's dome design and excellent acoustics will allow it to create a unique audio-visual experience. Whatever the occasion, the large display surface and sheer quantity of speakers provide clear audio to every attendee. The arena enhances the signal-to-noise ratio by utilizing advanced technologies like beamforming, ensuring that the audio is consistent and maintains its quality as it travels from the artist to the audience. In other words, regardless of where you sit, you'll get tremendous loudness and sound quality. There are no excellent or terrible seats in the sphere. Every seat provides a distinct and premium experience. On top of that, Sphere is incredible at giving its viewers a personalized experience because it focuses on the unique details that make each of them distinct. The high-tech infrasound haptic technology contributes to this effect. With that, listeners can get a real sense of the environment because of the system's usage of deep vibrations. But when will it be officially open? Considering all we've said about the Sphere, it isn't easy to contain the excitement around this historic arena. Indeed, a modern global wonder, it will attract even more visitors to Sin City and quickly become one of the primary monuments of a new Las Vegas. The massive structure will have a spectacular opening day, and we can't wait for the official date to be revealed. The opening is scheduled for September 2023, and it will be a sight for both those within the arena and those watching from a distance. We are confident that we will be present. Will you be there? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely watch this video next. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.